War Thunder just turned 11 years old, and of course, that means it's time for the annual anniversary sale. 50% off of basically everything available in game, including GE Premiums, Premium Time, and Talismans. And that's a pretty big deal. That's quite big. In fact, it's so much of a big deal that I spent the past couple of months saving up as much as I could so I could have an insane amount of GE to spend during these sales. How much GE did I manage to accumulate? Well, um... Oh my god! Now, uh, I can hear you think, Wolvis, what the f*** could you possibly need 200 US dollars worth of in-game currency for? Like, w what are you gonna do with that? Well, as it turns out, there is a lot of stuff that you can buy with 50,000 golden eagles. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I bought. The first thing I purchased is premium time. Not only does premium time give you a bunch of small little extra bonus features, such as map bands and extra decal slots, but more importantly, premium time adds a massive bonus on top of the base SL and RP modifiers of every vehicle in the game. Nothing else you can buy in War Thunder will have as much of an effect on reducing the time that it takes you to grind basically anything. And therefore, I'd say that one year of premium was totally worth 7,450 golden eagles. With this premium time in the bag, I had about 44,000 golden eagles left, and I ended up spending almost all of that on premium vehicles. The first three vehicles that I bought were vehicles that I had already test driven, I just didn't buy them yet because I knew the sale was coming. The first one of these was the 2S38, which I think is an absolute steal for 4,635 golden eagles. I honestly don't find this tank to be as fun as some people make it out to be, but I guess that just comes down to the fact that this thing feels like it's way too good for its battle rating. It's just a bit brain then to play, and although there's nothing wrong with that, it's not exactly my playstyle either. That said, again, this is a very good tank, and especially paired with my Terms T and my SU-25, I've now got a very strong USSR 10.0 lineup. The next vehicle I picked up is the Khalid, which is a 9.3 premium tank in the British tech tree. I really like this thing so far, it's essentially just a Chieftain Mark III with a much better engine, fire control systems, as well as a much better shell. Especially given the fact that I also want to pick up the Roycat 105 later on to make a full 9.3 lineup, I'd say 4,455 GE well spent. I also ended up buying the Wolfpack for 4,635 GE because it just fits in very nicely with the rest of my US 10.3 ground lineup. So far, I spent about 20,000 Golden Eagles, and this is when I started to realize that I had way more GE than I knew what to do with. And because of that, I decided to just buy a bunch of vehicles that I kind of already wanted to buy at some point, but never did because I never perceived they were worth the money. For example, I really don't think the Ariane is worth its full price, and that's because its matchmaker is just really, really painful. You only have to run into a single A10, and then, uh, well... Uh -oh. But given the fact that it currently only cost me 4,365 GE, I felt that I might as well buy it. The same is true for the premium Japanese Sabre, which ended up costing me 4,280 GE, as well as the Shenyang F5, which cost me 4,455 GE. I was really anticipating that the F5 would be my least favorite out of these three jets, but it actually turned out the other way around. Not only is it very good in terms of its competitiveness at its own battle rating, but it's also one of those jets that just feels really rewarding if you manage to do well in it. Those planes are rare, good, and rewarding, and therefore, I don't know, I really like the F5. It was a it was a nice change of pace from what I was flying over the past week or so. Anyway, after buying all this stuff, I had about 17,500 Golden Eagles left, and I just really had no idea what to do with any of it. So I I ended up just buying a bunch of silver lions. Okay, fine, I lied. I actually ended up doing much more smart things like buying the MiG-21S. No, no, it wasn't worth 4,455 GE. To be fair, I primarily bought this jet so I could use it along my USSR 10.0 ground lineup, and it does quite all right as a multi-role fighter in ground RB. However, if you were considering picking up this thing for ARB, don't. Just don't. Like, no. The next thing I purchased was the Norwegian Leopard 1A5 in the Swedish tech tree. This thing also sent me back 4,455 GE, and uh, I, it's a leopard. The only reason I bought this is so that I could speed run through the Swedish ground tech tree. I also bought the French, um... 
uh, which set me back 4,455 GE. I was a bit hesitant to buy this thing because, well, for one, it's French, and two, it just doesn't look all that great on paper, but once I got my hands on it, I was pleasantly surprised. It's not necessarily the best vehicle for its battle rating, but I did have a ton of fun playing it, and especially paired with the Milan, I think this makes for a very cute little 9.7 French lineup. Anyway, so far I've bought one year of premium time as well as nine premium vehicles, which meant that I was left with just over 4,000 GE, which I ended up spending on some stuff that I thought might come in handy in the future. I bought a talisman for the German MiG-29 for 1,600 golden eagles with the idea that this could help me grind the MiG-29G a little bit faster. I also picked up a talisman for the MiG-19 PT for 1,300 GE, and then with the last couple of golden eagles I had left, I bought this and that. I, I don't ask me why, I, I don't, I, they just look kind of cute, I guess. And with that, we've come to the end of my 50,000 GE spending spree. It's kind of ridiculous to think about the idea that all of this stuff together would have cost me over 100,000 golden eagles if I hadn't bought it on sale. Even spending just 50,000 golden eagles on all this stuff makes me feel like I need a shower. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, join my Discord server, and uh, goodbye.